to my nursery and I am here with my little guy this evening and we are doing it's actually past evening it is nighttime let me say that <laughs> so I wanted to change first it was going to be Layla I was going to change but then I wanted to change him and I was going to change him into something for Halloween Halloween theme he's the first baby I'm going to change into something for Halloween and it's not really a costume but it's a Halloween little thing that I'm putting together it's not even an outfit it's like I'm putting it together <laughs> you guys will see what I mean in a minute but yeah he's the first baby i believe i haven't yeah i haven't changed anybody else into anything orange um for this month yet or anything halloween so i decided i wanted to change him into something first and so that's why we're doing it tonight i wanted to do it since earlier today but i was painting all day today i was busy all day and shipping out packages so i never got a chance to change him when it was early and daylight and all of that so now we are completely using lamps and ring lights or artificial light but we're gonna make it work so this is gabriel and he is the andrew sculpt by claire taylor dolls he's an addition doll or completed by claire taylor his sculptor and artist um, meaning that he was sculpted, molded, poured into silicone, hair, hair rooted, and all painted all by Claire Taylor. He is the longest standing baby in my nursery. I've had him since 2017. He has left twice and came back, but he has been with me longer than he was away. He is definitely a keeper, I want to say, at this point. He is a baby that I don't want to let go of. I definitely learned my lesson from the two times I did let him leave. Um, I am just crazy about him. He is an older baby created in 2015. So, he was created in October of 2015. So, he is this month what six years old at this point so yeah and he is still such a beautiful baby i just love 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 this baby he is definitely also an all-time favorite of clear taylor's sculpts um i love the way he's painted i love his skin tone um he's definitely a chocolate drop in every sense of the term <laughs> um and it's not many of him out there meaning the way he's painted or his skin tone um that clear taylor has painted let me say that she does not do this skin tone very often there are a few others that she did in this same dark skin tone but it's not very many i was thinking the other day i was holding him and I was trying to think of how other, how many other sculpts that she painted in this dark, dark skin tone. And I think I only counted like maybe three or four of them that I can think of off the top of my head that is his skin tone. And that's with him included is about three or four that I can remember. I could be wrong, but that's, it's not very many. And I really just love this boy skin tone. So anyway, um, before I go on, let me say, please subscribe. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button now. So you don't forget. Also hit the notification bell. So you'll get notified when I do put up new videos or community posts or short videos, long videos, whatever, you'll get a notification. And also share my videos. I'm going for now to get to, I want to get to 3,000 subscribers and I will do another giveaway as promised once I hit that 3,000 subscriber mark. So... Please share my videos with your Dolly friends that may not know about my channel. Um, so, okay, is that it before I change him? I think so. All right, 
So when I said I put together an outfit for him, it's not really a Halloween outfit. What it is, is I found this bib and it says my first boo. And I just thought this was adorable. And it's a pumpkin. It's red, red. Oh my goodness. I'm going to Christmas. It's orange, green, black, and white. And so it has all the little Halloween colors. I think the only colors missing is purple. Because now purple is also a Halloween color. But yeah, I found this bib and my first boo, it just fit this baby that term. I thought that was cute. Um, incorporated in with Halloween, my first boo. But um, it just, that's why I went through the whole history just now of the baby. Because he's like my first boo, in a sense. He's not my first Clea Taylor doll, but definitely a dream baby. And I would say he's like the first Clea Taylor doll that I got that was truly a dream come true. Like, I just love this baby from when he was with his first mommy. And I never ever in like my wildest dreams thought I would ever get this baby. So he is like still a dream baby. Even now when I look at him, sometimes I can't believe I still have him and he's mine. So that just tells you how special he is to me and how he is a dream baby. And he was the first dream baby, real dream baby I had of Clea Taylor's sculpts that I actually got to bring home. So that's why I felt like, oh, he has to wear this bib first, my first boo. I probably will let some of the other babies take a picture in it too, but he, he had to wear it first. So that bib, then I was like, what could I put with this bib? Because I was going to just put the bib on him with a diaper, but since it's nighttime, I want him to wear a shirt. So then I was like, oh, this diaper, and this is my favorite black and white stripe diaper by Grovia. I had to take it off of his brother and put a different diaper on his brother <laughs> just so I could put the diaper on with this bib. I was like, oh my goodness, the perfect black and white color to go with the bib. Then I had these booties, the little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin booties. I think I got these either last Halloween or possibly it could have been the Halloween before. I'm not sure. But I had these and I was like, oh yeah, I could put these on his feet. So this is what I meant, guys, when I said I'm, I put together this Halloween outfit. Because I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff. Just a few things and I haven't even taken them out yet. But I know I don't have a lot. And then I'm going to just put this white t-shirt on him. And I was looking for this specific t-shirt because I want the diaper to show. I didn't want a onesie. And this one fits him good because it's small. It's a zero to three months Gerber t-shirt and it's not real big and I love it. You can't like, well, for me, I can hardly find these t-shirts without any snaps, no side snap, no onesie, just a regular t-shirt, short sleeve for a baby in the zero to three month size or even newborn like this where there's just, it's just a t-shirt. And I think I might only have this one and maybe one other little one like this. And the other little one, I can't even find it. I think it's a newborn size I have. So I, I was able to find this fairly easy. I can't believe it. I actually didn't have to search very much. I looked, like the, I looked in two bins and it was in the second one I looked in and it was right on top. I don't know if I put it there so I wouldn't have to search so far for it because usually when I'm looking for a specific thing like a certain t-shirt or a certain pair of socks I have so much stuff I can never find what I'm looking for but this I must have said let me put this where I can find it easy when I want it so I was able to grab it because I was like I don't have time to be searching for nothing because it's late as it is so I wanted to just come really quick and say hello to you guys, pop in and do a little night video with this little baby here. I was going to change him even off camera and just do one of those little short videos and just show him in the little Halloween get up. <laughs> but then I was like, no, I'll just do a quick little video. 
because lately I like I said I don't do as much videos as often like I used to so I was like I'll just do this quick little video this evening with him no topic or anything I just wanted to come and put him in this real quick and the video I want to do with Layla might be a little bit longer so I didn't want to do that tonight because it's going to be a longer video that I'm planning on doing with her. And it's going to take time and it's probably going to be clips that I have to put together when I edit it and all of that. So I didn't really want to do the video with her this evening. It would just take too long and I didn't want to rush. Okay, so that's his diaper. And his little shirt and his little booties here and each year I usually will buy something and add it in with what I have like for Halloween um, Christmas is another holiday I don't have a ton of Christmas stuff either and if I'm not mistaken because I've been kind of getting like lightening up on my clothes that I have I've been donating a lot of clothes, bags and bags that I donated. And I still have a lot of baby clothes and different baby items, accessories. So I know when I donated one of those bags of clothes in the past couple of months, I believe I even donated a lot of the Christmas stuff that I had. So now I have to look and see as I'm taking the winter stuff out again what Christmas stuff I have to see if I even have anything because I don't think I saved a whole ton of my Christmas stuff if I'm remembering correctly I donated a lot of it so I probably need to get a little bit of stuff for them for Christmas for my babies um because I don't think I have a whole bunch left and then I'm also selling clothes right now. As I said, I was going to try it out on Instagram. So I've been selling clothes and I have sold quite a bit of my baby clothes and accessories on my Instagram. I can't believe it because before when I used to try selling baby clothes, they barely would sell. But this time I'm so surprised the clothes that I have been posting have pretty much been selling as I post them. So this bib is a little big. Like I would have loved if it was a little bit smaller. But it's kind of like maybe for an older baby. Like a toddler size. A six month size baby. Where it wouldn't come all the way down like it does on him. But that's okay. That's why he really didn't need nothing under it because the bib is like covering half of his body or more than half. So that is the little bib, the little shoes, and they match perfectly. The orange is like the same color almost and the green on the pumpkins. And then I took out this orange passy, which is one of those little parents choice ones from Walmart. And then I have this black one, my only black. I don't think I have any other black pacifiers. One of those silicone ones, um, itsy ritzy. And so I don't know if I want it black. Like I hardly would put a black passy on a baby. Or if I want orange, I'm not sure. So, and I don't have like no pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern um, bottles or pacifiers that I can recall. I don't think so. So, I didn't waste my time trying to search because I don't recall ever, ever buying like a, um, a jack-o'-lantern passy or bottle. I probably need to look for one. Because that is something I don't have. Okay, that's how the black one looks. It looks cute, but it kind of blends in with the black on the top of the bib. And then that's the orange. 
I think the orange is better. It brings out the orange on his little Halloween colors. Yeah, I think I like this. And these kind of passies fit hit this baby's face good. They're similar to that nook shape. So that is his little his little Halloween gear. <laughs> So, yeah, that's all I wanted to come and do this evening is change my little boy here. And it was bugging me. Like, when I want to change one of my babies, if I don't do it, it will bug me until I do it. So, I was like, I have to change him before I go to bed. So, now I can go to bed and I changed him. I don't know if I'm going to upload it tonight or tomorrow but as long as i got it done that's all that matters let's see if i can take this out so there he is in his little halloween gear so that is gabriel and me this evening and i will be back soon with another video guys so thanks for watching stay so stay, stay safe and be well. It's late. Forgive me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.